I want to share um, a picture of my little girls with you because since we're all moms, okay, so this is our Christmas picture from last Christmas. And um, Scarlett is two. Um, you can flip to the next picture. Yeah, Scarlett is two, this is a more recent one. And then Juliet is one. And so when most people ask me what I do, I tell them that I'm a zookeeper because that's true. <laughs> And so um, it's been a wild string of years with being pregnant, like seemingly nonstop. That's how it felt. I'm like, I don't even remember what it's like not to be pregnant. For a season, it was just because they're 17 months apart. Anybody else have children that are 17 months apart? Okay, a couple of you. And um, yeah, I, God has just been showing me and teaching me a lot in this season. And um, I just wanted to share a few things briefly because I know we want to move on to time where we get to answer some questions and stuff, but I just wanted to share a little acronym that that is helpful to me and I hope can be helpful to you in this thing called motherhood. Um, a lot of us sometimes hear from um, older women or women who have grown children, oh, just cherish this time and just it goes by so quickly. And we know that's true, right? We know that's true. And yet at the same time, we're like, this day is not going by quickly. When do we put the kids to bed, people? Okay. <laughs> and, and so there's truth. We know that it's true, and yet our days are very long right now. And for a lot of us, every little thing is hard. Sometimes I'm just like, everything is hard. Everything is hard. Getting the groceries is hard. Everything you know. I don't need to explain it. You know. And, and so the, the moments that are precious and adorable and sweet, you don't need to be reminded that those are gifts because you know that you're just like, oh, this is precious. I wish it would never end and I could just keep it forever. And yet there are other moments that I'm like, I need to be reminded that this is a gift right now because this season that I'm in is just not feeling like a gift. It's hard. And so I, I felt like God was giving me this little acronym in the word gift for you to remember um, on those moments and in those times when, when this season doesn't feel like a gift, it feels never ending and hard and exhausting. And that first one is God is with you. And I don't know, you know, if you have a spouse that is supportive or not, or if you're a single mom or whatever it is that your situation is, but just know that God is with you. He doesn't want you to walk through this alone. He really wants you to cling to him. I need to cling to God because I wish that an instruction manual had popped out with each child, but that didn't happen. So I have to cling to God to show me what to do in every circumstance. And so he, he is with you and he wants you to lean on him and to depend on him um, for wisdom in, in all of these little things that you deal with. Um, Isaiah 40, 11 says that God gently leads those who are with young. The second is identity. Identity isn't lost. Your identity isn't lost. I felt like I went through a little bit of a identity crisis when I became a mom because um, I didn't think that I had made the, the things, like the, the titles that people had given me over the years, I didn't think that I had kind of like made those my identity, but I had. Um, I, I realized that I had um, because after going through cancer, I was the childhood cancer survivor. And then when I, you know, did uh, my, my CD, I was the recording artist. And then when I did the book, I was an author. And so then it's like kind of taking on these titles. And then I became a mom and I didn't have time to do any of that. And so people ask what I do. I'm like, well, I'm a stay-at-home mom. And, and like, sadly, in the beginning, I had a hard time saying that because I felt like, well, then they're just going to think that I'm just, just a mom. And, like, I didn't do anything else. I'm like, Paige, God has been teaching me a lot. <laughs> and so I realized that, that sometimes with becoming a mom, it can feel like who we were or the things that we've done, it's just like our identity is lost. It is not lost. You are still a daughter of God. You still have the same gifts, the same purpose that you had before children. It's now even expanded because you have children. You get to do greater things and more things because you have children. And you, it's, 
it, it's not lost. Um, and it's a good little, I guess, reality check for all of us in who our identity comes from and, and who God says we are rather than the titles that we receive from other people. Okay, the other one, quickly, is forget perfectionism. This, I am a per- recovering perfectionist. And sometimes with the standards that, that our culture puts on us um, with everything, but then with being a mom, and, and it just, like she mentioned, there's this, this guilt like that sometimes, I don't know, I felt it pretty strongly with like, yikes, I feel guilty if I do this, I feel guilty if I don't do this. I feel like, sometimes I feel like I'm failing at everything, like I can't do anything well. And that's a lot of times because of my unrealistic expectations and pressures that I put on myself that I need to just take off. The Lord says to cast our cares upon him because he cares for us and don't take on all of these weights of how everybody else is doing things, how everybody else is doing things. Um, Okay, the last one is transforming lives for eternity. That's what you're doing right now. I told my best friend, who's right here, a couple months ago that I felt like a household appliance because that is exactly it. I felt like I was just plugged in and then I just did these things and that's what I did and I just was kind of on repeat. My job felt unimportant, unnoticed, just like, you know, a little bit like I was going nuts. And yet God reminded me in my seeming, seemingly mundane tasks and repetitive things that I was doing that this was the most important thing that I had ever done. That whatever important things that I thought I had done in the past or whatever, this, this motherhood, this parenting, this raising children, wiping bottoms, you know, noses, feeding mouths, training, you know, all of these things that we're doing, this is the most important thing because you are transforming lives for eternity, not only your children's lives, but the people that they are going to impact too. So if you ever feel like just kind of drowned in these mundane tasks or or things that just get tiring at times, you are doing something extraordinary. And not only is God transforming lives through you, but he's transforming you. He has been transforming me so much since becoming a mom in just the character building process of these hard things, of these behind the scenes moments. And um, yes, so if, if you need a little reminder of why it's a gift right now and how to get through it, maybe just you know think about this little acronym. 